She's an author, she's a lawyer, and she's back in the spotlight. I'm Allison Podworski, and I sat down with Marsha Clark. Find out what she thinks of the recent OJ shows and what she's up to now. There's another show that's coming out. I think it's coming out in June on ESPN. And there's um, a part in it that not a lot of people know. Um, talk to me about the, the, what the defense comes out and talks about with the pictures in the house and, and what happened when you were walking with the, the jury through the house. It was a jury walkthrough, which happens in criminal cases occasionally, that you want the jury to see the crime scene. So I wanted them to see the scene at Bundy to let them see how small it was, what a small area that... Ron was basically trapped in that area. He went, I believe, he went to Nicole's rescue to help her. And then, you know, Simpson came right at him with a knife. He had literally nowhere to move. Uh, it was, he was caged in. I wanted them to see that. In response, the defense said, well, we want them to see Rockingham. We want them to see the defendant's house. And the judge let them actually go inside the house, though I did not believe there was anything relevant for them to see there. Um, but he let them anyway. So on that day, we, the lawyers walked through Rockingham first to see what it looked like, and he had, they had changed everything, everything. They had changed all the photographs, they had changed all the photographs in his bedroom, and they had even altered actually things that were um, important to the proof of the crime, which nobody knows. Um, access to the side yard where the glove was found, they changed that too. Um, I went back out and uh, it, what had been on the walls before um, were pictures of him with all these white CEOs and heads of companies, all white, not one black face to be seen, and a picture of him and Nicole uh, and the kids in Aspen. And all of that was gone, completely gone. In his bedroom, and I mean, it, it was all replaced, I'm sorry, all of that was gone, and it was replaced with all of his family members, his mother, his sister, all black faces, suddenly, all black faces. Um, a Norman Rockwell picture of Brown versus Board of Education that I later learned came from Johnny Cochran's office. Yeah. And then into his bedroom, there used to be a poster-sized picture of Paula Barbieri. <laughs> Not wearing very much. <laughs> now, they had taken that down. That was gone. And it, there was a picture, of, a framed picture of his mother by the nightstand and the Holy Bible. It was completely completely changed. I went outside and I told the judge, um, I want to go on the record to object. And I actually had the detectives t testify there on the front lawn of Rockingham to say, they've changed everything. I said, this is now irrelevant. This now makes no difference. This has nothing to do with the case anymore. This is not how the place looked. Um, and I objected the walkthrough. The judge said, um, overruled. I'll just tell the jurors they don't have to look at the walls. Another thing nobody knows about that is, um, he then, the judge asked Carl, uh, Johnny Cochran, what's up with that? Did you change the pictures? What have you done? Johnny said, I, had, I wasn't here, actually, I don't know. Um, Carl Douglas will have to tell you about that, another member of the team. Carl Douglas then said, well, I wasn't here either. I'm really not sure how that happened or, or who did that. I, I'm, you know, they danced all around it. We later found out, as you'll see in 30 for 30, the, the series you're talking about, he openly admits and proud of doing it proud of doing it. They went in with a team of people and deliberately scrubbed the house of everything that was really relevant to Simpson's life and turned it all different, made it all completely a different scene.